Greetings Earthlings, it's Ben Aqua. I'm heading to my first ever comic convention here in Austin. I'm not super into comics, but I think cosplay is one of the coolest things. I like to wear kind of wacky things that some of y'all have seen on my channel. But anyway, I am armed with right now the moment wide lens on my iPhone 10. No gimbal or any of that fancy stuff. Try not to get run over here. But I also got a new gadget. I got the Rode Video Mic Me L. This is the one with the lightning connector, as you can see. This is the one that just goes right into your iPhone, starts recording juicy audio. I think it has the same quality as the Rode Video Micro, which is what I use for most of my videos on my YouTube. But I'm gonna plug it in right now and let's see how much better it does than the built-in microphone. Three, two, one. And now we have the audio from the Rode Video Mic Me L. So hopefully there's an improvement. It's like slightly windy right now. So maybe there's a little bit of wind noise, maybe, I don't know, but it's directional. So it should get more of my voice, should be a little more present, less kind of like weird outside noise. About to head in the convention center. So all the audio that you're hearing right now and for the rest of the video was recorded on the video mic me L plugged directly into my iPhone 10. I didn't use the included dead cat when I was recording this because it's just gigantic and looks kind of hilarious on the phone. So I did notice some wind noise just from walking around and sometimes just from touching the phone. I met up with my friend Ashley who works at a local coffee shop and they had a bunch of free passes so she's like, you should come along. <laughs> what up, what up? I'm at my first Comic Con and I'm, I'm honored. It feels vacant but festive. It's Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. I used to use this character all the time. Fatality, excellent. Come out to Wizard World Austin. It's fun out here. He's a good mixture of Thor and Aquaman. Ben Aquaman. Comic-Con is kind of like a giant toy slash candy store. People get dressed up like their favorite characters from comics and anime, Doctor Who, all kinds of stuff. It's known to be kind of like a nerd convention, but I'm a total nerd and I totally vibe with this. Hi YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was a picture. I mean, who doesn't love watching a furry try to get a drink in the middle of Texas? <laughs> I think this is the only place you might be able to see a furry standing next to a Game of Thrones throne. And then turn around and buy a sword to ward off all of your YouTube haters. And then there's gaming stuff and there's anime. There's just so many cool bits of culture of all things nerdy. All of these people are so dedicated to recreating fantasy in reality, crushed into a gigantic sweet pile of amazingness. Maybe to escape the dangers and complexities of the real world. And of course, it wouldn't be a fully, truly nerdy convention without Star Wars. This group actually shows up to events in all their full Star Wars garb, and they raise money for charities. It's pretty amazing. I think I saw about five different R2-D2s that were homemade, but this one was definitely my favorite. Comic conventions also have creepy, furry, crawly things. Fear and anxiety, so we're all, we're all fed, yeah. Whoa, 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 that's a little too close. This is a vinegroon, um, so it's a type of whip scorpion. So we have like a scorpion scorpion here. This is a flat rock scorpion. Ashley's about to hold a freaking tarantula for the first time. But what did you say about fear and anxiety earlier? Oh, I, we feed off of fear and anxiety. Okay, not so. No, no, we are well fed. We are well fed. You want me to take it off at any point? You just let me know and I take it right off. Okay. Those aren't as scary. Oh, it feels really nice. Can be scary. And they're very, very gentle, fragile, light creatures. They are. You've convinced me. It was a beautiful experience. I feel changed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at them differently. This is lit. I don't use that word lightly. Okay, this is L I T lit. It also seems like there's a crossover of club music culture and comic stuff. 
Makes sense though, like fantasy, escapism. Yeah, man. Turn around with a bomb bomb cloud. Thor needs water. Yo, it's hot in Texas. Even Thor needs to be hydrated. Thor just likes it. Kind of opened my eyes to like the whole like comic book culture. It has a lot more layers than I expected. I'm really impressed with how the footage looks using the moment wide lens. I think the moment wide lens is like an amazing lens for the iPhone. The video mic me L is also a really cool microphone. I love how like directional it is if you're doing like interview kind of stuff. If you want to get like your own voice in it and the person that's on the other side of the camera, you can't really do that. It's kind of muffled. It's not really meant for that. It's meant for more like a directional kind of thing. Like if you want to hear your voice as well, it might be better to just use the built-in microphone. Overall, I really like this combo for just like kind of run and gun vlogging setups. It's a lot smaller than taking a DSLR, definitely smaller than taking a mirrorless camera. It's just an easy way to start vlogging. I mean, I don't even think you need necessarily a lens or a microphone. Like your phone probably already has a really good microphone and lens in it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think the Moment Lens is worth the hype? Do you think the video mic me sounds good? If there's anything you'd like to see on my channel, also let me know that in the comments. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.